she forgot her racket and so I happened to have two and I just figured I'd be the better person I won't stop now keep your hands up get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making them my folks locked down I never went nowhere what they say in loot is back blame it on that conjure the hood call it loot a yak and I'm on this foolish track so I spit my foolish flow it's a pity life can't be simple again. Lucky talk, you'll always be home sweet. You want some lollies? Lollies? Uh, no, it's okay. I already ate today. I'll give you some. Actually, my rule of thumb for tennis is if you don't know one of the terms, just make them feel like you don't need that in your life. Like volleys. Who the heck knows what volleys are? I don't believe that you should make any excuses whatsoever. Well, I'm actually kind of adjusting because I just got my racket restrung, so, you know. I actually got my meningitis shots just today, and um, yeah, I don't want to show you the band-aid, it's a little, you know, there's kids. I just believe in winning, so you don't have to make any excuses. Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, this is just, I have a sore leg, it affects my game. It was last year during tennis season when I was diagnosed with pseudosciatica and what that is is it's a nerve that's pinched in um, the upper part of the leg like right below the back I think I think
think with the support um, with the KCRG TV9 family, I think I'm going to be able to win this match. Key to winning? I'd say key of G. Yeah. Oh, tennis. Oh, my. Huh. Key to winning. My key to winning? Intimidation tactics. I have a lot of them. Eye rolls, hair flips, constantly talking to my coach in between sets, constantly talking to my pro coach in between games, constantly talking to my dad, constantly talk taking a drink of water. There's a lot of them. Constantly yelling at my mom. Constantly swearing. Just under my breath, of course. I would say intimidation is a big part of my thing, too. I would say so. Um, I mean, as you can see, this might throw some people off. Yeah. Dad was actually in the pros. Oh yeah, and constantly putting on lipstick. I was basically born at the tennis courts, I guess you could say. Where do I live? See that bridge over there? So you Go across a bridge, and then you go down uh, the road a little bit, and you'll find another bridge. And under that bridge, uh, that's where I live. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a four-bedroom home. I mean, a, a four-passenger van. Your racket didn't touch the net. Uh, it fits me, my banjo, and my cat Lamone. He's got an apostrophe uh, over one of the letters, but he's he's pretty good at the banjo these days. Yeah, I got him Cripple Creek. So, you know, it's pretty good. Football. Did you say that was a football? My foot. Was nowhere near the line. Mom, did you see that? My foot was nowhere near the line. It was two feet away. My favorite snack? Actually sponsored by Cheerios. These shoes? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow for the next game I'm probably gonna put on my pink shoes. I bought another pair just for that game. I have three, three pairs right now. It's kind of hard to decide. Why do I go without shoes? Easy. Lost energy from the lightning. Lightning strikes the earth and um, there's energy in there that's left over and when we go without shoes we actually gain that through the soles of our feet and um, that's energy that I don't have to consume um, through my mouth I get to have it through the soles of my feet so hi Go on. Uh, excuse me, there's no drinking at the tennis courts. Oh, honey, this is 100% green maple syrup. That's 100% tree sap.
equal balance. My sir? Thank you.